Sometimes when a customer buys something in a store, they are paying with cash and they have to be given change using coins and bills from the cash register. But in Canada now, we no longer use pennies. For some amounts, it doesn't matter. Amounts that I'm showing here in pink, 70 cents, 75 cents, 80 cents. When it comes time to give the customer their change, this can be done for these amounts using coins, but not needing any pennies. But for the other amounts, we have to do rounding. We have to round the value of the customer's purchase to the closest round number so that the change can be given without needing pennies. For four of these values, which I'm showing in blue, we round down. 71 cents and 72 cents are just a little bit more than 70 cents, so we round the value down to 70 cents. 76 and 77 cents are just a bit more than 75 cents, so we round those values down as well. 71 cents and 72 cents round down to 70 cents. 76 cents and 77 cents round down to 75 cents. For the remaining values that are shown here in yellow, 73 cents, 74 cents, 78 cents, and 79 cents, we round up. These values are just a little bit below a round number. 73 cents and 74 cents are rounded up to 75 cents. 78 cents and 79 cents are rounded up to 80 cents. In our example, we can see all of the things that happen for all of the coins between 70 cents and 80 cents, and it works the same way for the other values, between 60 and 70, between 30 and 40, etc. Notice that half of these situations involve rounding down and half involve rounding up. This makes it fair for both the store and the customer. Half the time, the customer spends a little less because of the rounding, but half of the time the customer spends a little more and these cancel out. This is how we round to avoid using pennies for cash transactions. In debit transactions, we don't have to do this. The exact amount to the penny can be debited from the customer's bank account. But when we're using cash, we have to do rounding.